And welcome back everybody. I wanted to give a big shout out to Petal Elementary School. Today I went out there and we got to talk to some of the kids. I had about eight classrooms come out and visit. This is one, I think two of the classes, two of the eight that came out today. A lot of smart kids. We talked about weather. We did some fun experiments and they had a total ball and uh, they were definitely a great group of kids out there at Petal Elementary School uh, this morning and into the afternoon. It was a fun day out there. Really sunny when that picture was taken, uh, but now completely cloudy. Of course, of course, the sun has now set, but still it's cloudy. 74 degrees out at Express Care in Summerall this evening overlooking Highway 42. Now we'll head down the road to Oak, uh, to Columbia at the Sky Cam. There it goes. I was wondering why it was not showing up. 77 degrees out there at Walt Massey Ford this evening. Now we'll head to the temperature map. Low 70s across the board this evening. Temperatures are going to be slow to fall tonight. We're not going to see uh, a real big drop in our temperatures because of those clouds tonight. And off towards the north, those clouds are producing rain. You can actually see it here on Southern Pine Ledger Radar. Memphis uh, out towards Little Rock, now Shreveport, and into eastern Texas. And this cold front is going to be slow to move east, and so that means we're going to get a decent chance of rain pretty much all day long tomorrow. But the rest of this evening, dry, just cloudy. Upper 60s here across South Mississippi. Otherwise, no problems tonight. But those rain chances will begin most likely during the overnight hours, the closer to sunrise, so we could wake up with showers already moving in by 6 to 7 o'clock, and they'll stick around pretty much all day long as we go into the afternoon. So let's break it down hour by hour for you. Future cast by six o'clock. We see these showers sitting here across the area, so we're going to see some possibility of wet roads as we go into Friday morning. This could definitely slow you down as we go into the afternoon hours and temperatures are going to slowly rise up into the 60s as we go later into the day. Let's see future cast. That's like it's stuck here, but I'm going to show it one more time. So here we go into uh, Friday morning. Friday afternoon and then into Friday evening, we're going to see those showers kind of lingering here across the area. And I think we're going to have to watch for the possibility of maybe some uh, showers for those Friday night football games. So definitely keep an eye to the sky and take an umbrella. You definitely may need it. Um, Scott's over here giving me a big thumbs down, but we need the rain. And this is what we need it for. We need the rain. Uh, Saturday, 40% chance of rain, a lower chance of rain Sunday. As we go into next week, we're going to see something happen. We're going to see the possibility of some more showers returning across the area as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, this weekend's chances of rain, uh, anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch and a half here across South Mississippi. Uh, but there are some signs, I'm not going to show it here, but there are some signs that we could get some bigger totals as we go into the middle part of next week. So, I would rather get this system out of the way first, and then we can have a better handle on this system on Tuesday. But again, we could definitely see some large totals as we go into next week. Keep your fingers crossed. Thank you, Patrick. As Patrick pointed out, yes, we could see more rain next week. Matter of fact, this is the map for next week. Rainfall will actually above uh, average here in the Pine Bowl. We're not uh, actually seeing this gray anymore. That's the average amounts of rain. We'll be a little above average, so let's hope that rain comes true again uh, for the, this weekend into next week. We need it for sure here in the Pine Bowl. We sure do. Thank you in weather. It is a big